All right, welcome back everybody to another Palmade review. I've been fairly busy last week, which is why I uploaded on a Saturday instead of a Friday last week. I'll be quite busy this week as well and even busier next week. So um, I'm switching to my older format before I did the uh, voiceovers and now I'll just do the uh, review on the spot just like this one. And the Palmade I'll be taking a look at today is Lockhart's Medium, which is absolutely one of my most favorite medium holding oil-based Palmades of all time and you'll see why. And um, this is the um, newer version, so it comes in the uh, twist top metal tin instead of the uh, slip tins. And the scent on it is, the official scent is sandalwood and vetiver. But I do really like the scent, it's sort of like a rather eastern kind of scent with a bit of um, kind of like an incense type scent to it. And I really do enjoy it. It's quite a strong scent, but not overbearing at the same time. And as usual, the um, tin design for the Lockhart's Pomade is very simple, but it's very iconic. You can just easily um, recognize it. And the appearance of the pomade itself, it shows itself to be a very um, waxy looking medium with some shininess to it. There's a present greasiness to it. And this is absolutely the case because this is actually one of the uh, waxier mediums and I do love me a nice um, waxy medium that's not overly waxy because it'll still bring a lot of benefits which I'll talk more about later and the scoop on it the top layer is actually a little waxy but if you break it down like over here it gets a little um, easier to scoop out and it gets a little like greasier so if you scoop it out this is what it's like from the uh, top layer but you can see it's still quite easy to um, scoop out but breaking it down either way, whether it's from the up top waxy layer or if you um, dig it deeper down through the uh, more greasy layer, it still breaks down really easily and really smooth, kind of like a, a buttery, quite um, buttery and sticky type of breakdown. You can see it breaks down to nothing. And applying it's also really easy as well. There's the medium resistance that you would expect, but there's hardly any tugging and pulling at all, but it really depends how much you use because if you're the kind of person who scoops so much, which I don't really recommend you to do that, there might be a little bit like very slight tugging and pulling, but otherwise just with moderate amounts of scooping out, you would find pretty much no tug and pulling, but just um, a medium resistance. And this is what it's like from the uh, greasier layer. It's very, very smooth and slippery to scoop out. And, you know, some companies, some of pomade companies seem to have something that's very signature to their line of oil-based pomades. For Lockhart's, I'd say the signature feature is their slickness. The products um, that the Lockhart's brew are always really, really slick products, such as Goon Grease, um, the um, firm to heavy holding oil-based pomade with relatively high shine, with a medium shine. It has a stupid amount of slickness that I really do love, which is why it's in one of my most favorite um, oil-based pomades ever, and their light hold down. It's just like super, super slick stuff. And so as expected, this medium hold is also really, really slick because the, of the amount of wax it has, it provides your hair with a good amount of stickiness and at the same time. Um, you can see that the control in it's really, really nice as well because the amount of wax present in this pomade over here gives the uh, really great amount of control that you can see I get from over here. And of course the height is also amazing, especially for a medium. So you can expect really decent pompadours out of this stuff. Well, I'm not really going for a pompadour today, but I can, I normally do contours, of course. You guys been watching my channel quite a while already, you would know. But even for a contour, it gives me a really, um, great height for it, even though I don't normally do a lot of height with it. But I'll just try to um, style a little pomp right now. Just switch things up a little. And the shine on it is just something I can't believe I almost forgot to mention. It's, um, it gets between a medium to high actually. It, it sort of starts off with with a between medium to high shine, but it, um, the shine that it barely fades throughout the day, but if it does, it goes down to like a, a nice medium type of shine. 
and it's just really the uh, sufficient amount of shine you can get with pomade. And what I also really like about this is that despite how waxy this pomade, um, this medium is, it doesn't like, give you so much weight that'll weigh down your hair. Like I said, you can get amazing height out of this. And you can see if I do a pompadour, it gives a very um, beautiful rounded shape to it, to, to my pompadour. And I really do love a natural looking shape. And the hold on this is actually, um, it, it's got really great endurance. It's between a medium to firm, I'd say. It starts off feeling a little like um, a step above, like a slight step above a true medium, but it feels like almost like the hold improves throughout the day. It gets slightly stronger um, just quite some time after you style with it. And the buildup on it's also amazing. There's so much damn control. There's, it's also really clean, especially for something. Um, it's on the waxier side of things, but it doesn't weigh your hair down too much about the buildup. And also, um, of course, there's more control, but with the end, it's got just the right amount of breezes to it in that it'll give you the nice amount of shine and stickiness, but it won't actually make your hair feel gross even during the buildup. So it's got a really um, clean and very controlled buildup with it. And the washability for one round, um, it takes me about one round of application takes me up two to three rounds of shampooing. Now this is how the uh, pomp type hairstyle thing that I styled earlier looks like. And you can tell everything is just very nice and slid into place. There is great height going on front with some, um, with a bit of forwardness to it. Everything just looks really nice and natural. Overall, this is one of the greatest medium hold oil based pomades and also one of the first products of the Lockhart's Brood and I absolutely do love it. It's got sort of good, the scent is all too subjective but it really depends on you. I can smell it right now, my bathroom is um, just filled with the scent and I actually do like the scent a lot. Um, it makes your hair look very amazing with a natural shape, great height, the type of shine is just enough, really awesome control and slickness, what's not to love about Lockhart's Medium. So I highly, highly approve this one. And for those who, who hadn't um, tried this yet, I really, really recommend that you grab a tin of one of these right now because you're really missing out, especially if you're a medium user. And also far to compare it to other pomades, if you're comparing it to something classic, this is a bit like black and white actually, but just without so much of the uh, super greasy feel you get from black and white. It's just like a, a similar shine, but just a bit more hold. I wouldn't say a bit more hold. It's definitely um, you noticeably um, substantial amount of hold improved compared to black and white, but it's got a similar feel to it, similar shine and slickness as well, better control. And for comparing it to other home brews, this is sort of like pumpkin KO, but just lighter and also slightly greasier. It's kind of like similar to Big Slick OG, but just a bit greasier than Big Slick. So that's all I have to say for today's review. And if you do enjoy this pomade, please, I mean, <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, I'm sorry, please leave a like, subscribe to this channel, leave a comment below, click on the bell icon so never miss a single upload of mine. I'll see you next time in the Squinty Show. Stay greasy, everybody.